All right, guys, good morning. It is uh, Saturday morning, so I'm here by myself at the warehouse. Just going to show you guys uh, kind of my process again uh, when I'm here on Saturday by myself. I typically just come in uh, for about an hour and two just to restart the printers and then head home for the day. Nothing too crazy. I got my iced coffee here. Um, I'm going to show you, I guess, my process in terms of how I go about restarting all these printers. Uh, basically, we have this shelf here that is kind of empty we have empty bins here that we'll just dump the products from each of the printers into the bins and then we'll go down the line uh down this side and then around and then down the a1s are all of my minis where we take the minis off and put them into the boxes over here and also by the way uh i reached out to big tree tech and they were kind enough to offer me a 5% discount code. It's not a huge amount, uh, but it is some savings if you're interested in getting one of these cryo grip build sheets from their website. I will have it linked in my description below along with the 5% on coupon code. The only caveat is it is only limited to the first 50 customers. So I already posted this on my community yesterday or two days ago, um, I think. Some people have already used the code, but there is still plenty left if you guys are interested. Uh, the link will be down below for that 5% off coupon. All right, that's it for all the P1P printers. Uh, all the ones on the sides and all the way around the back are all done. All these are done. So now we'll just tackle the uh, middle rows of A1s. And these for the most part have all of our minis. Um, so yeah, let's get it. All right, it's gonna do it. it. Took about an hour and 15 minutes. What I noticed on these uh, cryo grip sheets is that the perch tower is a pain in the ass to take off. It sticks so well sometimes. My mic was on, but uh, not just the perch tower, but also these lines here. I need clippers to basically take these off just because they stick so well. I guess that's a good thing. All right, so everything's restarted pretty much. A1s, P1Ps, bins. So we have all these bins next to each of these racks where we just take stuff off put them into the bins and then uh during the weekday when evan and chris are here they bas they'll basically take these bins and assemble the 10 packs uh the dragons and other things that we're printing as well that's about it for today we have more plastic coming in i think we have about a thousand more rolls of plastic coming in some different color rainbow and some other uh dual silk some plain pla as well like black red white everything's kind of organized here pretty well packing station all this stuff so up next we're going to start packing some of these orders these were giveaways that i did in my community uh the sunlu filament connector was was done two weeks three weeks ago i still haven't shipped it i apologize uh whoever won this i'm going to get this shipped out today uh we also did a giveaway for the uh big tree tech uh, lcd screen uh, so this is the lcd screen that you can put on the p series printers uh, and it kind of makes it look like the x1 series where you have the touch screen uh, you can basically control everything from the lcd i do have a couple more of these i might do another giveaway at another time maybe in a couple weeks but 99 percent sure that this is all that i need to ship back plate cable and the screen pretty sure our orders are packed we filled up the entire bag that needs to get go to usps uh today is saturday so i didn't schedule a pickup uh, but what I'll do is I'll just, uh, on my way home, I'll just drop this off at USPS in the back. They pretty much know me by now. All right, so I just wanted to make an update to something that I posted about uh, a couple weeks ago regarding multicolor printing more than four colors with the bamboo LED printers. So this works both on the X series printers as well as the P series printers. Um, you're actually allowed to print up to 16 colors on one printer. And how do you do that? Well. You have to buy this bad boy back here called the AMS hub. So this unit back here allows you to connect up to four different, you'll see here that there's four slots here, 
four slots uh, for PTFE tubes. So you can connect up to four AMS units to one printer. Again, you can do this for both the X and the P series printers. And you can print up to 16 colors. I think in my previous video, I said up to 12 or eight. Uh, I misspoke. It's 16 colors. Right now, this setup is eight colors. As you can see, I have one AMS up here with four and another one here with four. Eight colors in total for these prints right here, but you can do up to 16 prints if you want. Um, this is my poop situation with this printer back here. Kind of funny. But if you think that's funny, wait till you see, or wait till you see what we got back here. This is my poop situation for all of these uh, multicolor printers up here. And yes, we try to sell these by the pound. Uh, there are people who buy them from my TikTok or other people on Instagram that message me. People buy them by the pound and I guess you can do molds with them if you wanted to melt them down, make molds, uh, do some crazy artwork, whatever you want to do. Uh, that is not something that I am ever interested in doing. Uh, here we have just a whole mess that we collect all the time. All right guys, this is gonna be my last tip for the day and then I'm gonna end the video. Um, but basically it's a tip regarding dual and tricolor silk PLA. So pro tip, uh, you see how, th so this is a dual color blue green printing right now. And basically when the roll ends on this and the print pauses for you to swap in another roll. Uh, if you guys didn't know, so let me show you, this is the blue green dual color. You'll see that on the roll uh, one side is kind of blue, probably can't see it, and the other side is green. And so what you want to do is the, the part that's going to feed into the machine needs to be the opposite color of what color you see here. So facing us is a green color, it's a green sheen. So we want to grab a roll that has a blue color that is feeding into the machine. Um, you can see here that this is actually starting, uh, it, this is green facing to me. So if I were to feed this into my printer, it'll start printing and it'll be blue. So the colors will be mismatched. Um, and so to avoid that, you want to find a roll that, that has a uh, opposite color of what you see on the 3D printer. And that way you'll get a continuous print where the colors are matched and you don't get mismatched uh, colors on your 3D prints. Uh, this is kind of true with both tricolor filaments as well. Tricolor is a little bit hard because there's three colors go, uh, from the spool. There's three colors coming out of the spool, um, but you can use your judgment on that. And so let me show you. So an egg like this was probably fed in incorrectly, where you can see here that it probably paused here on the uh, blue line and the new filament that was fed in was probably facing, uh, it was probably blue facing as well. That's why I printed out green on the second half. So that's just a quick tip to avoid something like this. Uh, it's obviously very noticeable on something like an egg, but that's just a quick way you can avoid that going forward. Um, but that's going to do it for me, guys. Again, I'm going to leave a 5% coupon for the Big Tree Tech Cryo Grip Build Plates. Again, it is limited to 50, the first 50 uses, so grab them while you can. I'll also drop a link as to where you can buy them. And it is an affiliate link, just so you guys know. It just helps out the channel. You don't need to use it, but you can use the coupon code if you want to. I will see you guys in the next video.